Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can we open presents now? Yeah, present time! After Christmas cookies and hot cocoa. Yum. Wow! The Christmas cookies are all different species. Mmm. Okay, now is it time to open presents? Yes! Yeah! Oh, don't worry, buddy. I'm still thinking of just the right name for you. But first, we have to activate Narwhal powers! Aw, there's no horn. Okay. Aviva, there's no horn. What are Norwal powers without a horn? How could you forget the horn? Maybe you guys are baby Norwals. They don't have horns either. <laughs> I told you not to rush me. I thought the DNA from the Narwhal when you touched it would be sufficient to grow the horn. Apparently not. Since the horn is such a unique feature, we should do more investigations. We have to look more closely at the horn and at how it grows. I need more data, which means you guys have got to get out there and make some observations. But it's going to be so embarrassing swimming with narwhals in narwhal power suits with no horns. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Crab Brothers. Come on, Pro. Let's figure out the puzzle of the narwhal horn. Yeah, and get the info that will grow horns on our narwhal power suits. Aha! I had no problem with the horns on my cupcakes. Mmm, those smell good. Oh, we're getting jostled a lot. <laughs> That's what I was saying. In these narwhal <laughs> power suits, as boy narwhals without horns, we're not getting any respect. Ow! I think you're right, bro. Hey, wait a second. The horn isn't growing out of the narwhal's forehead. It's growing out of the left side, above his mouth. Ow! This guy's too. Right. It's actually growing out of the upper jaw and protruding through the skin. It's a special tooth that grows super duper extra long. So if a narwhal horn is actually made of a tooth, then this horn is really a tusk. Thank you. So that's where the mistake was. No wonder that horn activation malfunctioned. Because technically, that horn isn't a horn at all. It's a tooth, a tusk. Of course, tusks. Tusks are teeth that protrude from the mouth like walrus and warthogs, or through the cheeks like elephants and narwhals. Where the tusk grows out of the jaw, through the cheek area, and out through the left side of the narwhal's face. <laughs> Gotta slow him down with walrus power. Flippers don't fail me now. Tusk time! Ugh. Flipper power to the max! You're not going anywhere with those cubs, Zach! Way to go, Walrus Man! Oh no. They think their kids are in danger from each other. Whoa, it's a rarely seen battle of Arctic Titans. Forget dancing babies. A big battle is much better. All right, the polar bear has the advantage here. Moving really well, like she's dancing on ice. But the walrus is clumsy on land like a giant blubber balloon. With no legs, she's got to drag herself back to the water. Can she make it before the polar bear? Oh! Whoa, now the tables are turned. Even though the polar bear's a good swimmer, the walrus is built for underwater. Down here, the walrus is pure fluid swimming power. With the tusk, she's pulling the bear under. I'll grab the cuff. I've got the cap. Get their mothers. I'll distract them. 
It's all over, Varmatech. Stealing little wild animals, and you think you're the world's greatest mind? More like the world's greatest pain in a bear's behind. What? No, I found these tender little ones and wanted to return them to their families. I was looking all over for you two. What are you talking about? We saw you waving bye-bye with the walrus flipper. No, 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 it was holding my head. Must have thought I was its mommy. Can somebody get frostbite of the brain? But I am so worried now. You've got to find their mothers. I'll just go look over there. See ya. Hey, where are the moms? Yeah, where are they? Oh, perfect. Put us down on that skill, Davio. Yes, Danita. They showed up. Ah! <laughs> I knew you'd do that. Ah! <laughs> you did it again. But we're definitely not having the meeting out here in the snow. Let's go inside. What? Ah! But park it out here. What's our status, Koki? Less than a minute of air left. Uh oh. Maybe this beaver can hold his breath for longer than we thought. Um, Chris, Martin, what's that dark tunnel? I don't know, but he's heading up. Prepare to surface. <sighs> Where are we? Inside the Beaver's Lodge. Whoa! There's a whole beaver family in here. Hey, we, we know, know these beavers. beavers. It's Timber and Sticker. And Buddy! And Twig! These are the same beavers from the summer! You're right, Kevin. They are. But it was warm and everything was green and they were eating the leaves and twigs. But now it's cold and everything's snow-covered and no leaves are growing. So what do these vegetarians eat in the winter? Well, whatever they have in the fridge, of course. Fridge. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> fridge. No, I'm serious. Beavers have a fridge. Of course, that's right, a natural fridge. Beavers collect branches with leaves and twigs in the summer, and they store them in the cool water right at the entrance to the lodge. The chilly water keeps the sticks fresh all winter, and <laughs> it's all right there whenever a beaver wants a snack. A natural refrigerator. That means the hardworking beaver has collected and refrigerated all the food the whole family needs for the entire winter. Can we just hang out with them and warm up for a little? <laughs> this year, once and for all, we've got to find a way to get rid of the wild rats. Uh, aren't they called wild crats? Whose side are you on? I am so sick of them helping the animals. It always ruins my inventions. And my meals. That crab would have been a culinary delight. I did not particularly care for the time they let the Dracos fly from my jewelry, either. Uh, don't those lizards glide, not fly? <sighs> Whatever, Davio. They... they are just so annoying! So is your whining. I'm not a whiner. Yes, you are, Zach. I'm not. Oh, yes, I'm not, you I'm not, are. I'm, I'm not, I'm not. Ah, my Finder's Keepers collection. <laughs> If someone loses it and I find it, I get to keep it. <laughs> ah, but it is missing something. I don't have anything in here from those annoying wild rats. Hmm. Zackbot, are you in position? Well, then, improve signal. What are those wild rats up to? Are we almost there, Jimmy? I'm going as fast as I can. The Arctic is pretty far away, you know. It's as far north as it gets. Like, the North Pole. Oh, I know, but I gotta find my creature souvenir collection right away. Did he say creature souvenir collection? It's all of my creature treasures. Creature treasures? Oh, boo-hoo, who cares? They remind me of our adventures. Blah. They're things of natural beauty. Blah. And sometimes, 
They help give us creature powers in a pinch. Blah, blah. <gasps> give you creature powers? Well, then I can't let you have it. You and your creature powers keep messing up all my plans. Anything that makes it harder for them to use those annoying suits is well worth it to me. I'll find their lame creature souvenir collection before they do. Besides, it'll make a perfect addition to my Finder's Keepers collection. <laughs> Jackpots! Get my warmest jacket. We're going to the Arctic. Uh-oh! It's winter now. How are we going to find Chris's creature souvenir kit under all this snow and ice? Well, this is what the Arctic looks like most of the time. It's the harshest cold weather climate on the planet. My collection is somewhere under that snow, and we've got to find it. Okay, so where exactly were you when you used it last? Well, okay. Down in that valley was where we helped the muskox herd fend off the wolf pack. Remember that? Oh, yeah. The musk oxen did their patented defensive circle to keep the wolves at bay. And in the middle of the fray, it rose up in front of me. A piece of shed musk ox fur. If I could catch it, it'd forever remind me of this incredible creature moment. Did you catch it? Not exactly. Why not? Well, just as I was about to grab it, I kind of sort of got in the way of a musk ox. Aww. But the fur floated down right on my face. <gasps> so you got the fur. Did you put it in your creature souvenir kit? No, not then. I had to stay focused on the battle. But after we fended off the wolves, I headed back to the den to see Baby Tooth. It was later that day that I put the piece of fur safely away. I put it right beside the baby tooth that Baby Tooth, the Arctic wolf pup, gave me. And that's what you were doing when I called you at the den. Whoa. Come in, Green Wolf Pack. This is Blue Ox here. We've got a battle brewing here, bro. Are you talking about what I think you're talking about? Oh, yeah. Headbutting battles of epic proportions. I'm on my way. Oh, I can't miss that. Muskox, here I come! I rushed like crazy, but I definitely remember taking the collection with me. <laughs> 